It's been a while, but a quick unboxing today. Not your normal unboxing. It is only 2 o'clock on a Sunday, so no wine yet. Just still having my cup of coffee, but I did want to get this unboxing out of the way. I did have another unboxing that I mentioned in one of the last videos, and it really was supposed to be a little bit silly, but really all it was was that I did buy a case of the uh, Philip Milka Rockstar Winemaker Made Pirouette 2016 Washington uh, Bordeaux varieties, but mostly Cab Merlot. Really awesome wine, so I bought, I bought a case of it and really enjoying that wine, uh, that delicious factor at like a 10. So when I find a wine like that and a uh, good value, not out of Napa, but out of Washington, so it still costs some money, but it's really awesome wine. Anyway, to the unboxing, small unboxing today. This one's from Gary's Wine. I don't order from Gary's Wine that often, but here and there I do. I think there's only six bottles in here. What happened is I read an article on Wine Spectator on the Valtellina region of Italy, and they specialize in a Nebbiolo grape similar to Piedmont. So Piedmont has the Barolo Barresco, some of the other regions got Tanara, Gemme. And I read this article on Valtellina, and this is not in Piedmont. It's in further north towards Lombardy, and even close, I think, to the Swiss... No which border anyway might be switching the border i could be messing up my geography but anyway it doesn't matter that much except that i wanted to try a few of them so i bought a expensive one mid-range and a, a, a inexpensive one see how much i like them i think they'd be a good value for quality so this is the i guess one of those and there is a sforzato so this is actually the most expensive one so this one and the, this is 2016 vintage and I forget exactly, but I think this has a fair amount of aging on it that's mandatory for the Sforzato to have that on the label. But it is a Valtellina, and I'm um, excited to try these. This is from Negri, so we'll try these out. That's one. Second one, definitely you could even tell by the weight. I mean, the bottle, bottle, you know, just classy versus a little less. This definitely is probably, I'm guessing, the... The lowest end one almost has a Trader Joe's bottle feel to it. So an Inferno, Valtellina Superior, you know, they didn't put Nebbiolo on here, Nino Negri, you know, just probably really just trying to grab people to, you know, to buy this thing. So is it a DOC or DOCG? DOCG. So it is a DOCG. Fantastic. And then the last one. So again, another Negri. I guess they're all Negri. This is what Gary's had. So not I can't couldn't find these wines anywhere else in New Jersey. So that's why I ordered from Gary's. So this one's called um, Wadrio or Wadrio. I don't know how to pronounce that, but 90% um, Nebbiolo, 10% Merlot. So I guess they have to be at the 80% Nebbiolo. But we will see how these taste. I'm guessing some some good acidity. Really excited to try the one. You know, this one even just has a classy look at. I mean, if you just look at the bottles, they just have a, you know, you could kind of tell, you know, low price, mid price, definitely this is an expensive one. And I really wanted to try, when I try a new category of wine, I typically want to buy one that's a little bit more expensive to really get a feel for what could be done in that, in that area. And then I just bought two more. This is, oh, this thing looks messed up. Uh, I hope this wine's not bad, but it's got a weird look to it. So this is 2010, no, 11. Oh, the label's wrong. This is going to make me nervous. So this is supposed to be a Bobal grape made by the folks in uh, La Mancha that specialize in a Bobal grape. And um, it's on my list of things to try, but this label's making me Oh, this thing's leaking. It's leaking. I bet you this one's bad. This is going to have to get returned. Yep. This one's no good. Looks bad for a reason. It's leaking. Cork looks like it's not intact. So that's a shame. I'm going to have to take a picture of this, send it back to Gary's, and see what the deal is with that. They probably should have checked it before they sent it. And this was supposed to be a different wine. This time I've done two different wines. So this is Domaine Tempier, which is amazing in Bandol. This was supposed to be a different wine. So now i got to send them another message. So 
that's very unfortunate. That's supposed to be one of their specialty bottlings, but the best band, band doles I've ever had are Domaine Tempier, and uh, this is just their standard. So I end up paying a premium for this when this is just their standard bottling, and that's that's not going to fly. So got the Valtellinas okay, but these uh, these going to have to get returned or talk to Gary. So that's it for today, and have a good Sunday.